Hi friends, this YouTube channel is uh, designed for uh, providing training for oil and gas operations. Oil and gas production process overview. In this first video, oil and gas production overview, we will just to see how a reservoir oil and gas reservoir converted into a production system in that one there are so many processes are there so as an introduction the oil and gas extraction industry can be classified into four major processes first one is exploration exploration means the find out the the whether the oil is available in the in any reservoir second is a well development if the oil is available then we find out we make some method of drilling and making the uh, subsurface oil to come out then the production and site preparation and abandonment exploration involves research for rock formation associated with oil or natural gas deposits and involves geophysical prospecting and or exploratory drilling so this is the first job to verify whether a reservoir is potential for oil and gas reserves exploration in oil field mean all the method all the methods used to check the presence of oil and gas in the subsurface with the evolution of computers and other new technologies exploration has become easier well development occurs after exploration has located an economically recoverable field and involves the construction of one or more wells from the beginning to either abandonment if no hydrocarbons are found or to well completion if hydrocarbons are found in sufficient quantities production is the process of extracting the hydrocarbons and separating the mixture of liquid hydrocarbons gas water and solids removing the constituents that are non saleable and selling the liquid hydrocarbons and gas production sites often handle crude oil from more than one well system surveys are used to find out the oil and gas reserves just to look at the picture how it is working so this work on the principle of the time taken of for reflected sound waves to travel through matter of varying densities exploration of results show the approximate location say at what depth quantity and properties of oil and gas water present in the subsurface look at the picture here is an example of an oil reservoir with a gas cap this is symbolic representation how a reservoir forms by seismic survey exploration method all available resources we are finding out this is how much quantity of oil or how much potential is there for a reservoir so once the seismic survey is complete exploration process and the procedure is complete uh, we found that one there is a potential uh, uh, reservoir available gas oil and gas mixture is available in the reservoir so the drilling process for a trial well or drilling process can start after the exploration and confirming the presence of oil and gas in a location next step is drilling after setting up a rig we started drilling here the rig is a uh, drilling tool combined with a uh, moving vehicle with all arrangement for drilling the holes and the pipe uh, fixing the pipes and casings and the flowing tubes etc etc that is coming to our uh, uh, some other uh, training program holes are drilled by threading a long pipe with a cutter on the end 
Next is uh, drilling. After the exploration and confirming the presence of oil and gas in a location, next step is drilling. After setting up a rig, we start drilling. Holes are drilled by turning a long pipe with a cutter on the end of it. After drilling few meters, a large steel pipe, that is a casing, is lowered into the drilled hole. The casing will be cemented into the hole. Total length of the casing is formed by joining many pieces of this pipe and is known as casing string. This is a good example of a drilling rig arranged in a site after exploration and uh, seismic survey and uh, all procedures completed then uh, starting a drilling of a well. This is in a desert. Some of the other pictures are showing uh, uh, in the sea offshore also. This is we can learn onshore drilling rig. These rigs are uh, rigs are using in drilling offshore uh, facilities. Well completion. After drilling, we have to decide about the method we are going to use to flow the well from the subsurface to surface. Normally, we insert a small diameter pipe into the last casing string. This pipe through which we normally produce is called production tubing. After setting the casing and production tubing, we have to attach the Christmas tree. The Christmas tree, sometimes it is called Xmas tree, is a group of walls and fittings arranged at the wellhead to control the flow from the well. The picture shows a Christmas tree connected to a production tubing above the surface. So the tubing is undergoing to through the subsurface to the reservoir. So this is called a wellhead. The wellhead is the equipment at the top of the well. It is used to keep control of the well. It forms a seal to prevent well fluids blowing or leaking at the surface. How strong the wellhead is depends on how high the pressure is in the well. The wellhead is made up of casing and tubing head and the Christmas tree and pressure gauges. Wellhead General Application The purpose of a wellhead is to support the weight of the downhole tubing safely contain the maximum surface pressure to which the well will be exposed, provide a way to control the flow of well fluids, permit access into the well for servicing, provide a way to kill the well, close it down when necessary. This picture gives you a clear example of a wellhead. So the Christmas tree and the top of the surface and the subsequent some basic instrumentation and flow line is connected to the uh, processing plant. So the downhole tubing uh, going through the reservoir. Another example of a flowing wellhead with the Christmas tree. Look at the picture. So this picture two parts. One is wellhead which is the subsurface part connecting the various tubes and other supporting walls for the flowing well. The surface part above the earth, above the surface, uh, it is a Christmas tree. Christmas tree is a group of walls connected to the wellhead for supporting the flowing tubes and maintaining the flow. Various activities are there. One by one we are describing in the coming videos. This picture gives some more idea about Christmas tree starting from lower master fall that is the bottom side of the Christmas tree just above the surface connected to the well hat then upper master wall and uh, surface chalk then production wing wall and uh, some other wall is a kill wing wall the other side of the 
uh, production wing wall. Then the top of the Christmas tree it is a swab wall and uh, any adapters, tree adapter and uh, tree cap and gauges. This each walls are uh, its own function. In the coming slides, uh, we are uh, discussing about function of each walls. So just to closely watch and understand a Christmas tree, what are the various uh, walls arranged in a Christmas tree. Main parts of a Christmas tree. Lower master wall. The two lower walls are called master walls upper and lower respectively because they lie in the flow path which well fluid must take to get to surface. The lower master wall will normally be manually operated. Upper master wall. The upper master wall is often hydraulically actuated or operated. Hydraulic tree wing walls are usually built to be fail safe closed meaning they require active hydraulic pressure to stay open. This is a safety requirement we will discuss in later chapters. Another two important walls in the well, uh, Christmas tree are uh, one is uh, production wing wall. Production wing wall often called the flow wing wall is the is in the flow path hydrocarbons flowing to the facilities. So that is the main walls to divert the flow to a from a well to a production facility. Another important valve is a swab valve or crown valve. Using the this valve is using uh, for the wireline job that is a maintenance job in the subsurface reservoir or in the flowing tubing or anywhere under the ground the subsurface area we use this valve or any other maintenance job. So, a normal production well, uh, always this uh, swab valve is uh, closed and the production wing valve will be open. But when the maintenance coming, it will be the production wing valve will be closed position and uh, swab valve will be in open position. So, then only we can use the wireline cameras to put into the well to see what is inside and find out a suitable method to rectify the problem inside the well. So this picture is giving a uh, real production uh, and process system in a offshore. You can see the platforms living quarters and uh, rig facilities, uh, flyer system, so well head, uh, flowing tubes. So we will go when the coming slides and videos we will explain and elaborate more on this uh, uh, production and process of uh, this oil and gas. So this is the last video from this, uh, last slide from this video and uh, each and every slide you just to see again and again and understand better to gain the proper knowledge on oil and gas overview.